Hey, Explorify fam. Today, we're diving into the vibrant and diverse world of India. Like seriously, this country is literally bursting with color, culture, and like centuries of history. Get ready to be amazed by these 10 incredible things you probably didn't know about this fascinating country. I'm low key freaking out just thinking about it. So let's just get into it. Okay, first up, we're heading to Meghalaya, which is basically like the rainiest place on earth. But get this, instead of letting all that rain get them down, the people there decided to team up with nature and create something truly magical living root bridges. I'm talking about bridges that are literally grown from the roots of living trees. Can you even? So basically the Kazi people who live in this area figured out how to guide the roots of these like ancient rubber fig trees across rivers and streams. They use bamboo and stuff to support the roots as they grow. And over time, these roots become strong enough to walk on. I mean, talk about sustainable engineering. Some of these bridges are like hundreds of years old and can hold like a ton of people. It's insane. Imagine walking across one of these bridges surrounded by lush greenery and the sound of rushing water. It would be like stepping into a fairy tale or something. Oh, I'm so adding this to my travel bucket list. Like, imagine the Instagram pictures. Hash living my best life, hash root bridge goals. Next up, we're traveling to Ladakh, which is basically like this high altitude desert in the Himalayas. It's known for its like crazy beautiful landscapes and oh yeah, a hill that seems to defy the laws of physics. Buckle up because things are about to get weird. So there's this road at the base of a hill, right? And if you stop your car there and put it in neutral, get this, it looks like your car starts rolling uphill. Like what? It's trippy AF. People call it the magnetic hill because they used to think a magnetic force was pulling the cars uphill. But like science to the rescue, it turns out it's just an optical illusion. The surrounding mountains and the way the road is sloped create this crazy illusion that makes it seem like you're going uphill when you're actually going downhill. It's still super cool though. Like our brains can be so easily tricked. It makes you wonder what else we're not seeing, you know? Okay, get this, about 50,000 years ago, a meteor crashed into Earth in what is now Maharashtra, India. And like, yeah, that's intense and all, but the coolest part is what it left behind, Lonar Lake. This lake is literally located inside a massive meteor impact crater, and it's the only one of its kind in the world. How cool is that? So, not only is this lake like super old, but it's also home to this unique ecosystem. We're talking about like special algae and bacteria that can survive in the lakes like slightly salty and alkaline water. It's like a little alien world right here on Earth. Scientists are like obsessed with Lonar Lake because it gives them clues about what happens when a meteor hits Earth and how life adapts to extreme environments. Plus, it's just really pretty to look at. Floating post office. Snail mail never looked so serene. Okay, you guys, I am obsessed with cute little quirky things, and this next one definitely takes the cake. Get ready to be amazed by the floating post office in Dal Lake, Srinagar. Yes, you heard that right. A post office that floats on water. Picture this, you're chilling on a houseboat in Dal Lake surrounded by stunning mountain views, and you need to mail a postcard. Do you have to, like, get back on dry land and find a regular post office? Nope, this is India where anything is possible. This adorable little post office is built on an intricately carved wooden houseboat and has been around since like the 1800s. It's basically a tourist attraction now, but people still use it to send letters and buy stamps. I mean, can you imagine getting a postcard with a scent from the floating post office in India postmark? That's like peak travel bragging rights. Shani Shingnapur, the village that trusts the universe. Okay. This next one is a little bit wild, even for me. So there's this village in Maharashtra called Shani Shingnapur, and get this, it has no doors. Like none, zero, zilch. I know, right? It's crazy. The villagers believe that Shani, the Hindu god of justice, protects them from any harm. So they don't feel the need for doors or locks on their homes or shops. They literally leave their belongings out in the open. 
and no one steals anything. It's wild. I mean, talk about trust, right? They have so much faith in their beliefs and in the goodness of humanity that they don't even consider the possibility of theft. It's kind of inspiring in a way. Makes you wonder if we could all just, like, trust each other a little bit more. Jantar Mantar. This sundial is seriously extra, in the best way. Okay, let's talk about India's obsession with astronomy, because it's seriously impressive. Back in the day, they were, like, way ahead of their time, and they built these incredible structures called Jantar Mantars to observe the stars and planets. And the most impressive one of all is in Jaipur. This Jantar Mantar is basically like a giant outdoor observatory, and it's home to the largest sundial in the world. I'm talking massive. It's so big that its shadow moves about six inches every minute. That's like the length of my eyelash. But here's the really cool part. This ancient sundial is still accurate to this day. Like, it can tell time within like two seconds. It's mind-blowing how they built something so precise without any modern technology. Okay, I know some of you are probably freaking out right now, but hear me out. The Karni Mata Temple in Rajasthan is home to thousands of rats, and they're not just tolerated, they're worshipped. These rats are considered sacred and are believed to be the descendants of Karni Mata, a Hindu goddess. People travel from all over to see these rats, and it's considered good luck if one of them runs across your feet. I know, I know, it sounds kind of gross, but it's actually really fascinating. The temple is super colorful and ornate, and the rats are everywhere. They have little bowls of milk and food all over the place, and they even have a special priest who takes care of them. It's definitely a unique experience, and it just goes to show that different cultures have different ideas about what's considered holy. Okay, get ready for this. India is home to the only floating national park in the world. It's called Cable Lamjau National Park, and it's located in the middle of Loktak Lake in Manipur. This park is basically a giant floating island made up of fumdis, which are these mats of vegetation, soil and organic matter. It's kind of like a giant floating sponge, and it's home to a ton of wildlife, including the endangered Sangai deer, which is also known as the dancing deer because of the way it, like, gracefully walks on the femdas. It's crazy to think that an entire ecosystem can exist on a floating island, but that's just how nature rolls, I guess. It's a reminder that the natural world is full of surprises and that we need to protect these unique places. Okay, Last but not least, we're heading to Chandipur Beach in Odisha, which is basically like a magic trick in real life. Get this, during low tide, the sea literally disappears. Like, it just vanishes for miles. You can walk on the ocean floor, which is usually covered in water, and it's full of, like, seashells, crabs, and little fish that get stranded when the tide goes out. It's like a whole new world opens up right before your eyes. And then, as if by magic, the water comes rushing back in during high tide, covering everything up again. It's such a cool phenomenon, and it's a reminder that nature is full of surprises. Did you know about the great banyan tree in Kolkata? It's no ordinary tree. It's over 250 years old and covers more ground than any other tree in the world. The tree's canopy stretches across more than 3.5 acres, looking like a mini forest. But here's the twist. The original trunk rotted away, yet the tree lives on, supported by over 3,600 aerial roots that act like individual trunks. Walking through it feels like you're wandering under a natural green roof. This majestic banyan is a living wonder and a testament to resilience in nature. Thanks for watching. Explorify fam. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing to our channel. Hit that bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next adventure.